Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. We're looking at our Logic series. This is TTL Logic 74 LS series. We're looking at the 74 LS 32, and it is a quad two input or or gates. We all should know what an OR gate looks like, but I'll draw it anyways. That's an OR gate, no inversion bubble. A, B, let's say this is Q, truth table, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So this is gonna be a low, so zero. And anytime the out, any output is high is going to be a high output. So zero one 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 one. That's your OR gate truth table. So let's take a look at the data sheet. I did something a little bit different here. Um, let me find it. I shoved the data sheets down here. I don't know if that's going to be helpful to us. So here is the data sheet. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to go back to the data sheet. Here we go. All right. Here's the data sheet. So you got pin 1, 2, and 3. Uh, 1 and 2 are your inputs. 3 is your output on your first one. And then you have ground down here. And then you have... BCC have one set there one set there I'm trying to find unique colors here alright so there's your you got your four outputs you got your VCC and you got your ground now an interesting thing I discovered with this chip and we'll take a look at it um, when we get down to the the table the bench and I'll show you what I'm talking about oh here is a uh, the inside of RLS right here is our insides this is the original 32 right here original 32 and you can see it is just straight transistors and a few diodes and some resistors that is just pure transistor transistor and you can see this has a lot of the shot key in it because they are shot low shot key power chips so if we go down here to the LS 72 7432 we can see here on the output level high at uh, 5 volts it is typically 3.4 volts and that's important because you would think it's a 5 volt chip and you're putting 5 volts in and your output signal would be 5 volts but no it's around 3.4 volts and I'm going to show you that down here so I'm going to switch this I'm going to put this up there so we can see that and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here Let's hook up the power supply. This is my singlet SPD3303XE. Uh, three output power supply by singlet. It is fantastic. You can support me by going to Patreon or GoFundMe to help me afford to purchase this equipment for a permanent. It's on loan to me. So we'll power up the circuit and I have I have no pointer. Okay, I'll, I have the buttons here, and then I have the transistor power ground over here. Then I have the uh, pin number three coming to the output. Uh, pin one is the button A, and pin two, the red lead, is the red button. So either or it comes on but let me show you the voltage here that this is what's interesting is the voltage 
that is on the chip and which is quite interesting. I am not going to go to the 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 screen where it prints the voltage because I want you to switch some stuff around maybe. Okay, so if we take the voltage on the chip here, read the voltage on the chip. We got, you know, right at 5 volts. So, I want to take, let's take a look at the output pin, which is pin 3. Right now, we have nothing. If we press a button, we have 3.4 volts. So, that's the output level of the transistor, the transistors to transistor. But, I was like, man, that's weird. So, I was messing around on a circuit schematic. To see what was going on if I pull this LED out this output LED and I test it now I get 4.3 volts because of this this thing right here having a forward voltage and we're gonna check that right now Okay, so we're going to check this. The LED lights a little bit. And get a hold of it. And it's not going to tell me what the full. Why is it not? threshold is oh, it's still saying it's an open diode it's not giving me a forward voltage threshold voltage was off so we got about 2.5 volts forward voltage on this bad boy so you know you got the 5 volts and you take you know you're gonna drop some of that and it's gonna lower your output voltage so I want to see what kind of current is running through here because I'm not quite sure that I should be driving these LEDs with these chips. I see these chips drive LEDs all the time. So we're going to see what the current is. So the best way to do that is to pull this out here and put in a lead. A lead in here. We will switch our probe to current. We will set our current before we hook anything up. And we will see what the current flow is out from that output. Then I want to see what the current flow into the chip is too, which is going to be trickier, I think. So if I will... Okay, so I have it hooked up here to make the circuit when I press the button I'm going to get an air bridge I'm going to get 2.9 milliamps so 3 milliamps so what happens if I press this one 2.9 both of them so 2.9 okay so 2.9 milliamps it's not bad what kind of operating So the low level output current is 8 milliamps. So it's not too bad. So we are we are golden on that. So now here is what I want to do with this to 
try to take that LED, the strain of that LED off of this circuit. So I'm going to pull out my amp meter and I'm going to immediately switch my leads back to regular mode so I don't short anything out later. Fuse. So that's hooked up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my nifty little box. I'm going to zoom out for this. Zoom out for this so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to get a 22222 transistor, 2N2222, two 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 two. yep, so, and I want to hook this up in a way, I'm going to turn the circuit off, and base up there let's do that and then the emitter is going to go through the resistor to the diode to ground I don't even know if this is going to work I ran it in a test simulator and it worked, and then I'm going to hook the collector to, to 5 volts. I hook this collector to 5 volts here. Okay, collector to 5 volts. Okay, it still works. It still is working. So, I want to see what the output on the I want to see what the output on the output is now. So, I'm going to come into the output of pin 3 and I want to touch ground. So now I'm getting 4 volts, so I'm getting more voltage out on my pin, so I'm getting a higher level. So if I needed to drive some other logic that had a lower threshold, I could use this um, NPN transistor as a switch to turn on this LED. Now, the other issue I had was if you look at the voltage on the switch, is the same principle here. If I stick this in there and I press the button, I'm only getting 2.9 volts because I am coming in through a LED and then a resistor which was bad design on my part but luckily the the chip can read anything um, anything above a 2 is read as a high for these chips so I'm right there I'm like 900 millivolts above what I need to be but I am going to rework this and get a higher voltage and some transistors in there and try to lower the current a little bit and do some more action to do these chips a little bit different in my next set of videos I was just plopping the chips down and showing you guys what they can do and all that stuff and I wasn't doing any tests to see if I was doing it correctly I apologize for that so I'm going to start testing the chips more and on the outputs I'm going to put these transistors to run the LEDs. Might even do a switch system that um, switches for the LEDs too so I can get the maximum voltage on the chip or just rearrange it. So that's going to do it for this video guys on the 74LS32. Um, here's my links to social media link to my patreon page and you can also support me on my gofundme page try to raise money for some um to keep the equipment that was loaned to me and also i want to get a couple more pieces of equipment because i have some awesome projects lined up and i need the equipment to do the projects anyways thank you for your